Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. On today's episode, we're talking about something very near and dear to our hearts. That's right. We're going to be talking about noodles, all right? Just joking, guys. Uh, what we're really going to be talking about is how we make noodles on the job site if you don't have power, right? So we're going to be talking about this Makita kettle right here. Um, this is a cordless kettle from Makita. This specific one runs on their 36-volt uh, setup, which uses 18 volt batteries, but they also have an XGT model. Anyways, this one can actually make two of these at once. So we're going to go over this tool top to bottom, and especially with the cold winter coming out, you're probably really going to want this. So stick with us. All right, you guys. So like we mentioned earlier, a lot of us really like noodles. All right. So a lot of people in the world actually really like eating noodles and cup noodles is no different, right? So cup noodles, obviously the convenience is it all comes in a cup. You can make it in like four minutes or less. Uh, most of them generally take somewhere around like was like 300 to 400 cc's or milliliters or whatever of water. And they're pretty quick, right? Uh, as long as you're not eating those like 99 cent ones that literally taste like cardboard, there's actually some decent ones out there, especially like the nongshim, all that other different kinds that they have. So uh, definitely try those out if you haven't tried it out already, but Today, this is not gonna be the star of the show because what you need to make these noodles is hot boiling water, all right? So we're gonna talk about this one right here. This right here is the Makita XKT01. Uh, this one runs on their 36 volt uh, platform, which is really just 18 volt batteries X2. Uh, they do have in the other parts of the world, the same thing, I think it's called like DKT01 or whatnot. And I think you have the XGT model. I think it's just called KT01. Um, so they do make this one for these batteries and their XGT batteries. Although I believe the XGT model is not out in the US. So uh, let's go over some of the marketing hype built into this tool and then we'll bring them closer and take a better look at it. All right, so this is Makita's XKT 36 volt, 18 volt X2 LXT hot water kettle. This one right here uh, is a good way to boil water whenever you need to boil water on the job site or outdoors or when you just don't have power. The kettle can produce up to 27 ounces of hot water in just nine minutes uh, from 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And the kettle automatically shuts off when the water is boiled. There's also protection and stuff like that built into it so it won't boil dry and burn the kettle. Um, it's got dual layer construction, retains the heat longer. Like I said, it's got all the audible stuff. It's got three stage LED, it's got top handle, and it weighs a whopping 7.4 pounds with two five amp hour batteries. Um, it's got a three year limited lifetime warranty, uh, pretty standard Makita stuff. If you were using it without the batteries, it'll probably be weigh somewhere around 6.6 .6 pounds, all right? All right, so I'm gonna point out right away, you can put this kettle this way or the other way. So if you're right-handed or left-handed, you know, you don't always have to put in this configuration. You can also point it to this configuration and design to do that, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about the kettle here real quick. So this kettle has a button right here that kind of opens it up such that the water can pour out. Um, if you don't push the button down, the water will leak out slowly, but it won't pour out, okay? So you press the button to pour the water out. Uh, it actually up opens by pressing both of these. You have to press both at the same time. You can't do one or the other, and it opens like such. And if you open it, what you'll see inside is, this is stainless steel. I tried to contact Makita and also asked a bunch of questions to people. Couldn't find out exactly what kind of a stainless steel it is, but it does seem to be a food grade. I don't know if it's 302 or whatever, but it is is food grade we've used it quite a bit and it hasn't rusted or had any issues so far all right so inside here you can see i'm not sure how well it's going to come out but it says it boils up to 0.8 liters of water uh, which is great because as we talked about earlier if you're using like cup noodles or something like this you could actually make two of them because they usually take somewhere around 300 uh, milliliters or so okay um, so as you look inside here, you know, there's nothing too much really going in on here. It's got a little spout here that pours out. The other thing that really probably more important or more interesting is this, this top part. It will come off, right? So the way you take it off is you hold this, you pull it out, and right there, right? And this pops out. So let's talk about this uh, real quick. So when you press this down, this is how this thing opens, right? Uh, there is a little filter that is built in right here in case you know you are boiling something with like a bunch of water or tea leaves or something, just in case you wanna do that. Or maybe you're just boiling water with a bunch of debris because you're in an emergency situation and you just, you know, have some dirty water, but you want to boil it. Uh, but anyways, uh, other than that, nothing too much going on here. This entire thing seems to be plastic. This stuff right here is like a rubber gasket type thing, but other than that, nothing too much going in on there, right? So if we put this back in, drop it like so, 
close it, no problem. Mm -hmm. It is pretty sturdy. Like I mentioned, we used it a couple times, no problems. It roused a little bit because some of the buttons and stuff up here, right? But it hasn't really been a big problem. If you go look at the bottom here, it's got the two contacts or gold type contacts. They are, you know, uh, spring loaded so they do set in the holder very well um, it's also got uh, the contacts here which are recessed so that's kind of good but all this stuff here is plastic as they say this stuff is supposed to be insulated but the important parts are uh, stainless so moving that stuff out the way here uh, this right here is the power button you know when you put it on you press the button and it, start, and it just goes off uh, as you probably saw, it takes roughly around, for us, when we boiled, I think it was like room temperature, 80 degrees water, it took around seven and a half minutes to get it to boiling 220 or something status, we'll throw it up there, and it was like a rolling boil. So it, it's not, you know, just, it just gets warm, it actually boils it. But it sits in here, as we mentioned, and it has got like holes and stuff drilled out so that, you know, if you do spill water, it just comes out. Uh, the contact points are here. It's got gold contact points right there. But other than that, you know, there's really nothing else going on with it. Cause as you can see right here, 36 volt, 18 volt X2. It won't say it on this side, but if you go around to the back, this right here is where the battery status gauges and all that kind of stuff are. So you take two batteries. Um, we'll put two five amp hour batteries in here and you press it and it'll, you know, it'll light up three bars. But uh, what I've noticed is that once you boil it once, um, it'll come down to about one bar. I think some of my batteries are newer, so they'll probably have like two bars. Um, but you can sometimes, if I get fresh batteries or if you use six amp hour batteries or whatnot, you can get about two boils out of this. Sure, it's, 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 I'm gonna go out and say, people are gonna say, oh, you can only get, you know, uh, was it 0.8 times two, 1.6 liters or something like that out of that. Uh, yeah, but you know, we're talking about boiling water with electricity, okay? Boiling water with electricity is probably, if not the most expensive way to boil and heat water, okay? But in this case, we're doing it with batteries. So uh, if you're getting 1.6 liters of boiled water with batteries, I would say that's pretty good. You know, you're obviously not gonna use this to feed an, I don't know, entire army or whatnot, but this is something like, this is good to have because it's cordless, right? So uh, with that being said, on here, it'll even tell you which type of batteries are applicable. You know, if you use batteries too small, it obviously won't boil them. If you have like one amp hour batteries or 1.5, they may not actually work on here, but that's pretty standard pointed out on here, all right? So uh, moving around to the bottom, Bottom here it's got a little safety switch so it has to be down I'm not sure if you can hear it right it has to be down or flat down in order for it to work that way if it flips over or something like that it'll stop boiling but other than that you know it's got like rubberized feet right here the water will uh, fall out here if you you know spill it or whatnot but you know that's all this really is going on with it right so putting that on there let's get to it All right, you guys, so that's what's really going on with this tool here, okay? So, like I said, this tool is not gonna be super popular, probably not in the US, uh, probably more popular in other places. Um, it's not gonna be a tool that everybody has either, right? So most of the people that have this tool are gonna be the people who are usually on the job site before there's power, or uh, people that just really like hot tea or, or uh, coffee or just really want to eat some noodles right so um there may be those there may be people going camping backpacking or any kind of you know that kind of stuff or if you just need a cordless way portable way to boil water um so that's what you can get with it so like i said makita's a big company in japan they make other stuff than just power tools you know stuff that you could probably use around the house they make really niche stuff too they do also make a battery powered coffee maker uh, we don't really have that we really just boil water with this and just use those like single serve you know uh, little pouches you hold over a cup and pour it in there uh, that's what we use this for because you know with this one tool we can make tea coffee, noodles, just warm water, whatever it may be, especially with the cold season, the weather or the winter season coming up soon, always good to have hot chocolate and 
green tea or noodles or anything warm and soupy. So uh, like I said, battery life is not the best, but for us, if you have a lot of batteries or in the Makita platform, you don't really got to worry about it because you probably have a ton of batteries, all right? If you're only going to buy this to the boil water uh, as a, you know, water boiler and you're not in the Makita platform, yeah, the battery is probably going to be a problem for you if you need to boil a lot. If you only need to boil one or two, you'll probably be fine. Uh, like I said, they also have an XGT model. We don't have that, but you know, if you want to get that, stick with it. But you know, we just have a ton of 18 volt batteries. So we bought this one. Um, this is not sponsored video. Nobody sent this to us. We bought it for, I think it was on some ridiculous sale for like one 09 or something like that. But on a normal price, it'll go for about 199. I'm not saying you should pay no one price for it, but um, you know, cordless convenience and Makita three year warranty and stuff like that come with it. So like I said, it's always good to get it if you want it. If you don't want it and you don't need it, don't get it. Okay. For us, it makes sense because we like tea, we like coffee, and most of all, we like noodles. So it's always good to be able to eat noodles. Hope this video has helped you guys out. Have a great day. If you don't have anything else to say, we'll see you guys next time.